In today's video, I'm going to be giving you the latest update regarding the $1,200 stimulus payment as of April 7th, 2020. Hey everyone, this is Matt. Welcome back to another Blind to Billionaire video. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Today, I'm going to be giving you an update regarding the $1,200 stimulus payment with all the updated information as of April 7th. All of this information is brand new as of today. So um, like I mentioned in my other videos, I'm actually blind. So I have my wife here with me and she's going to be doing the reading for us right off of the irs.gov slash coronavirus website. So we're going to get into it. Hopefully we cover some of the most frequently asked questions and this is the latest information. So we'll get to Corey and she'll read for us. Here's what you need to know about your economic impact payment. For most taxpayers, payments are automatic and no further action is needed. This includes taxpayers who filed tax returns in 2018 and 2019 and most seniors and retirees. Who is eligible? Eligible retirees and recipients of Social Security, Railroad Retirement, Disability or Veterans Benefits, as well as taxpayers who do not make enough money to normally have to file a tax return will receive a payment. This also includes those who have no income as well as those whose income enti is entirely from certain benefit programs such as Supplemental Security Income Benefits or SSI. Retirees who receive either Social Security Retirement or Railroad Retirement Benefits will also receive payments automatically. Exactly. Yeah. So I've been saying this in my last few videos and I have so many questions, literally hundreds of questions of people asking me this. If you receive social security, retirement, disability, or what was it? Railroad or veterans benefits, you do not need to do anything. They have all your information. Just sit back and they will send you the payment. No further action is required. I also have so many people reaching out who are SSI recipients asking, do I qualify? We just read it right off the website. Yes, you qualify for the payment. So no worries. If you get SSI, you still qualify. Who is not eligible? Although some filers, such as high income filers, will not qualify for an economic impact payment, most will. Taxpayers likely won't qualify for an economic impact payment if any of the following apply. You can be claimed as a dependent or on someone else's return. For example, this would include a child, student, or older dependent who can be claimed on a parent's return. If you do not have a valid social security number or if you are a non-resident alien. Exactly, so Corey just read, who does not qualify for the stimulus payment. I think the biggest takeaway there is dependents. I have so many people, again, reaching out asking about dependents. If it is a child or you claim somebody as a dependent on your tax return, you may be able to get the additional $500. Again, I say this in my videos also, you may wanna check with your tax professional regarding your specific situation because everyone's situation is different. So just recognize that just because it may be one situation for someone, it may not be the same for you. But if you claim someone on your tax return, you may also be eligible to receive the additional $500 for that dependent. Now, if it's a child under the age 17, that's I believe you should be able to get the $500, no problem, provided you um, file a tax return so that they know that that dependent exists. Now, if you're um, claiming a dependent on your tax return who is an older adult de in de uh, dependent, I honestly, I'm not sure about that. You may qualify for the additional 500. I am not sure. Again, consult with your tax professional on that specific situation. Do I need to take action? People who filed a tax return for 2019 or 2018, no additional action is needed for taxpayers who have already filed their tax returns for this year for 2019. The IRS will use this information to collect, calculate the payment amount. Or if you haven't filed yet for 2019, but filed a 2018 federal tax return, for those taxpayers, the IRS will use their information from 2018 tax filings to make the economic impact payment calculations. People who aren't typically required to file a tax return, 
Social Security and Railroad Retirement recipients who are not typically required to file a tax return need to take no action. The IRS will use the information on the Form SSA 1099 and Form RRB 1099 to generate economic impact payments of $1,200 to these individuals even if they did not file tax returns in 2018 or 19. Recipients will receive these payments as a direct deposit or by paper check, just as they would normally receive their benefits. Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI recipients, are also part of this group who don't need to take action. For Social Security, railroad retirees, and SSDI who have qualifying children, they can take an additional step to receive $500 per qualifying child. There are other individuals such as low-income workers and certain veterans and individuals with disabilities who aren't required to file a tax return, but they're still eligible for the imp economic impact payments. Taxpayers can check the irs.gov tool, do I need to file a tax return, to see if they have a filing requirement. The IRS will soon provide guidance for these individuals on the steps to get take to get their payment as soon as possible. Yeah, exactly. Again, that's another question I get on my other videos. So many questions, people asking, do I need to file a return? And in most situations, if you receive social security benefits of any kind, you do not need to file. They already have your information. You do not need to file anything. The only exception for that would be if you do not file a tax return and you haven't for many, many years, but yet you receive social security benefits, if you have a dependent child, they may not know that child exists, especially if you haven't re, um, filed a tax return in many years. So you may, you may want to file a tax return just to so that they recognize you have a dependent child, then you can get your extra 500 bucks. That's why you would file if you are a social security recipient and you have a dependent child and you typically don't file, you would do that so you can get an extra $500. That's why. But in most cases, you don't need to do anything. You, they'll just send you your money. Okay, here's the last thing. Payment recipients, watch for an IRS letter. For security reasons, the IRS plans to mail a letter about the economic impact payment to the taxpayer's last known address within 15 days after the payment is paid. The letter will provide information on how the payment was made and how to report any failure to receive the payment. If a taxpayer is unsure they're receiving a legitimate letter, the IRS urges taxpayers to visit irs.gov first to protect against scam artists. Exactly. You know what? There are so many people out there who try to exploit these opportunities, they call them opportunities, to basically screw people when they're down. So like in these situations when everyone's hurting, looking for some money, there's going to be people out there trying to scam. Here's another thing. The IRS will not call you. Never, ever. They will never call you. They send you a letter. So if someone calls you, says, I'm the IRS and I'm threatening you, hang up on them. That's not the IRS. It never will be. They will send you a letter every single time. So watch out for these people. There's tons of them out there. Um, what else are they going to say? Oh, another thing people ask. Um, what was I going to say? I don't remember. Anyway, doesn't matter. I think we're good. <laughs> I think we're good. Um, anyway, watch this video. Um, yeah. Oh, another thing. That's what it was. People ask, people ask, when am I going to receive my payment? They've been saying they're going to be rolling out here in April. Um, I've heard many different dates announced, so I'm not going to say any dates because I don't want people sticking to that date, but it sounds like in April, the, the payments will be rolled out for the majority of people. So I've been telling everybody in the comments section, just sometime in April, um, it, sometime in April, you should receive your payment. Basically, just watch your bank account and then watch for, if you don't receive something, watch your mailbox for a letter from the IRS and follow up with whatever they're asking you about that. Um, yeah, I guess that's about it. So please um, re-watch this video if you have any other questions. I mean, this is the most updated information as of April 7th, uh, which is today. So hope this helps. Thanks so much for watching this.